Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with a quick channel update and my first collection update of 2020. I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys, including some Blu-rays, some DVDs, and some VHS tapes. But first, a quick update about my intentions for my channel this year. It's 2020, which means it's officially my 10th year on YouTube. I created my channel in 2010. In honor of that, you may have noticed my new intro featured all of my channel icons that I've used over the last 10 years. It's been a great ride, and I only anticipate it getting better. This year, we will of course have more Slashback. Slashback the sequel, which started this past week. Jason, Brad, and I will also continue the Super Slash Brothers show live stream on Friday nights. Along with that, Jason and I also plan to bring back our Top 20 Ranking series. I will be showing more rare movies not on DVD or Blu-ray throughout the year. I will have more Goosebumps themed videos which in the past have been some of my most popular and most watched videos. I may even throw in some retro WWF wrestling reviews sporadically. And obviously, more horror. After all, I am the Horror Man. And among other things, I will of course have more Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS updates, like the one you're about to see. This is all stuff I picked up since the first of the year. I'll start with the Blu-rays. Speaking of Goosebumps, this is Goosebumps 1 and 2, 2 movie collection, Walmart exclusive Blu-ray set. I've seen the first Goosebumps movie, which I really enjoyed. In fact, my wife loves it. But I have not seen Goosebumps 2, Haunted Halloween. So it will be a first time watch for me when I get around to checking it out. Next is the Blu-ray DVD digital combo pack of Brightburn. I've heard nothing but great things about this one. I cannot wait to watch it and I will probably be doing that sooner than later. On to the DVDs now. This is a movie I was actually looking for before Christmas. Prancer. I was looking everywhere for this. You know, I wasn't going to order it. I wasn't like in dire need of it or anything like that. But it's a movie that I haven't seen in a long time. I felt like watching. And, you know, I see it everywhere, all the time, every store. But of course, it was Christmas time, so it was sold out pretty much everywhere I went. Like I said, I didn't want to order it because I didn't absolutely need it in my collection. And I'm glad I didn't because I, I went to Walmart the other day, I believe it was on New Year's Day actually, and there it was for $5 on DVD. I also picked this up at Walmart. It's the Phantasm 5 movie DVD collection. Now this is the OCD in me. Uh, I'm definitely an obsessive collector. You know, I have this same set on Blu-ray. Um, I have all these movies on DVD separately. You know, I have the first Phantasm movie and Phantasm Ravender on Blu-ray, as well as the Scream Factory release of Phantasm 2. I have the first four movies on VHS. But something in me needed this Phantasm five-movie DVD collection. You fellow collectors will understand. I picked up Ready or Not, which is another movie I've heard great things about. My son actually saw this in theaters last year and loved it. He said it was a really good time, so I can't wait to check it out. And the last of my DVD pickups is Crawl. This is another movie that I've heard people claim it was the best horror film of 2019. So, I guess I'll check it out and see for myself. On to the VHS tapes now, I found Know What I Mean. This is obviously an earnest VHS tape. This was a TV special, which is pretty obscure on VHS, pretty hard to find. So, I snatched it up. Here's another rare one that's pretty hard to find. This is Fudgemania. I got this one to go along with my Fudge the Birthday Bash tape. Back to Phantasm now, I found the MGM movie time release of Phantasm on VHS. Now this is actually a pretty cool release because it contains additional footage not in other releases. I also have the Phantasm Embassy release here on VHS, which does not contain the additional footage. These MGM movie time releases are interesting because while most of them are just re-releases, some of them include additional scenes such as this Phantasm tape and the release of Swamp Thing I showed in a past update. That one contains the uncut version of the film with the Adrian Barbeau nude scenes. And I completed my Phantasm VHS collection by picking up Phantasm Oblivion. This was the last tape I needed for my Phantasm collection, 
and I happened to find it, so here it is. I found Frightmare on VHS. I do not own this one on DVD, but it's a slasher, so I had to add it to the collection. It's funny because in my last collection update, I was just talking about this one. I had found Carnosaur 2 to go along with my Carnosaur tape, and I mentioned that I needed to find Carnosaur 3. Well, I did. Carnosaur 3, Primal Species. Now I just need to find Raptor, which is the spin-off from this series. I picked up a copy of Femme Fatale because, well, why not? It's directed by Brian De Palma, and it has Rebecca Romaine Stamos naked. That's reason enough. I have this 80s VHS release of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which you don't see too much. You usually find this one in the clamshell, which I do own as well, the uh, 25th anniversary edition, I believe. But I found this old release, so I figured, why not? I got Cop with James Woods. I am a big James Woods fan. He's actually a local actor, which is pretty cool. And he's just fantastic in this role. It's a movie I haven't seen in a long time, and I can't wait to revisit. I also can't wait to revisit The Visitors. I haven't seen this one in years as well. Awesome cover here. It actually moves. You pull this little flap and it changes the cover. I'm not going to do that now because it requires both hands to do so without ripping the box. But really, really cool. Glad to have this one. You don't see this one too often. So I was really glad to add it to the collection. And finally, this is actually a pretty rare movie both on DVD and VHS. It's The Chilling with Linda Blair and Dan Haggerty. As I said, the VHS is rare, you really don't see this one often, and the DVD is out of print and gets pretty expensive. I'm so happy to have found this one, it's a highly sought after VHS tape, and now I own it. Well guys, that's it for this update. What do you think? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching guys, be kind, subscribe. Mm -hmm.